Hey, Jennifer, your girl Shekinah, and I'm back, back again with another video. There is no intro to this video, okay? I'm not editing this video at all. This is Vlogmas Day 1. I'm going to be giving you guys a story time. What better way to start a Vlogmas than with a bang? Like a story time. I have a lot of stories I can tell you guys. My life was very, very much hectic, but I'm going to give you guys a nice, short, and sweet story time because I'm not editing it. This is going to be raw and uncut. Um, I'm posting a story time for the first day instead of a vlog. I am recording a vlog right now, actually, but I'm posting the story time instead because I'm not feeling well. And you guys will see that in the vlog because I do talk about it. I don't know if you can tell, like, my body is just like, <sighs> and I'm, I'm using most of my energy right now. But this is a story time by, as you can see by the title, this is about a last check that I had. That customer service was just, like, crazy. I'm not coming at old girl at all. This is not a video or come at you or nothing. This is literally just a story time of my experience because I've never experienced nothing like this before. Um, I do understand that as stylists and all of that because I do also, I do hair. Sometimes you do get held up and sometimes things happen, but um yeah so i had booked this girl right let's get started i booked this girl in philly right to do my lashes all her sets was going for i think it was a hundred dollars she had a hundred dollar sets on them so i was like all right i could book her then i'm gonna go to insomnia cookies and then i'm gonna go to the jamaican spot out here so i had plans in philly so i booked her for three o'clock um i didn't want to be in philly all night um i didn't want to be in philly at nighttime at all actually so i booked her for three o'clock, three thirty, boom. Um, I'm coming from the Poconos, so if I'm driving all the way to Philly, that ride I'm not gonna lie, cause I went around the tolls, took me about two hours and some change. So I had to leave my house early, right? So I'm driving to go to my appointment. She texts me at three fifteen that she's gonna be running late. I'm like, okay, well I'm already here, like. I came earlier than I was supposed to. I came, I was actually pulling up to her crib at 3.15. I was like, I'm already here. Like, and it's not like she didn't know I was coming from the Poconos. I already told her, I said, oh girl, I'm coming from the Poconos. Like, when I texted her before I booked my appointment. I was like, okay. Cause you know, I'm letting her know, like, I'm coming from the Poconos. Like, I want to book the right thing. I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing with my booking. So let me know. She told me, yeah, 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 yeah. Time's good. Everything. So... <laughs> I get to her joint at 3.15. She's like, she's going to be running late because she did a house call. And the person didn't come through. Like, they took forever for her to even start their lashes and stuff like that. And, you know, at the time, I was just like, okay. She's like, I'll be there soon. I'm like, okay. All right. Now it's 4 o'clock. Um, I'm texting her like, first of all, I get to her door and I'm knocking and, like, ringing a bell. Nobody's answering. So I, I'm like, um... Okay, because I texted her and she didn't answer. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's setting up and she don't see. So I go and I knock. Nobody answered. Her roommates was actually in there, but they didn't answer. Um, so then that's when we me and her start texting. And she was like, I'll be there soon. She was like, oh, I'll be there soon. Um, yeah, I'll be there in a couple minutes. So I'm thinking she coming to answer the door. This is really what happened. So I'm standing by the door for like mad long. Mind you, I'm standing by the door for like 20 minutes. Then Shorty tells me she was at somebody's crib, like she wasn't even there. So I'm like, all right, cool. I go sit back in my car. Mind you, I'm on the north side of Philly. Like, I'm by Temple Temple University. I mean, I had God with me, so I was safe. And I'm also from New York, so, like, it's really not going to bother me much. Like, I'm from the Bronx. Like, as long as you stay on my face, I stay on your face, we should be cool, right? But anyway, I'm in my car. My car is all pinked out, so they know I'm a girl on that drink. And um, I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. Mind you, my windows are not tinted or nothing. I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. I got all my money in cash on me. <laughs> I got the money in cash on me, bro, to pay her. Like, I'm like, cool. She want cash on me. I got cash on me for her. And um, so she thought I'd be there in a couple minutes. Boom. Now it's 430. That's a whole hour, bro. She still wasn't there. So I text her. I'm like, I'm hungry, bro. I'm about to go get me some food. Like, what are you doing? Basically, like, what is this girl doing? And then she was like, oh, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Da, da, da. Kept saying she was on the way. I'm like, okay, but like, what the freak are you really doing? Like, what what is really good? You saying that you started her lashes a while ago, but it really seemed like you're doing a full set right now. Because if you really think about it, a full set takes you about what? A good two, two and a half hours for some lash tags. And she moved quick. So I'm like, yeah, for you, like a full set, come on. You like, I feel like she's 
she squeezed somebody else in before like she squeezed somebody else in on my appointment time and didn't want to let the money go and I was just like what the freak I'm coming all the way from the Poconos and you have no common decency to show up on time and it's not even like you're like a couple minutes late you're a whole hour late bro like are you kidding me are you for real or are you for fake like come on let's be real and then like hmm. hold on yeah, my energy is running well hold on you got this and then it's like wait why would she ever do that and so i'm like i'm gonna go get some food blah, blah, blah. i told her like i'm gonna get food because you know them girls they will be like oh i'm here and you didn't show up for your appointment so i cancel you no no she's not about to do me like that so i was like okay i'm gonna go get some food and that was around it wasn't 4 30 that was around like 4 50 and she was telling me oh i'm 30 minutes away i said 30 minutes it is 4.50. Are you kidding me? I didn't know how far this girl was. If I knew she was going to take that long, I would have went to Insomnia Cookies and I would have went to Jamaica Spot. I had a whole day planned for me. And she really, like, just screwed up my day. Like, in all honesty. Like, I couldn't go to Insomnia. Because by the time I got over there, it was late. And I still had to drop, like, two and a half hours back to the Poconos. So, she gets started with my lashes at, like, five-something. Mind you, my appointment is at 3.30. So now we finally doing my lashes. And I'm telling her, like, you know, freestyle, you know, you do a bit extra. I've seen her lashes on Instagram. They look nice. But she did my lashes. And I'm not going to lie. I hated them joints. And you can see in my vlog, I was like, oh, it's a lot going on. Like, I'm not going to lie. I hated them joints. Not these lashes I got on right now. These are by a new lash check that I just tried out. Me and her work together. Um, these are nice. I like these. But, yeah, like, I was just like, why would you? It's like, at the beginning, she purposely didn't tell me how far she was because she didn't want to lose the money. And I'm like, that's not fair. I came all the way from the freaking Poconos. Like, are you kidding me? And I sat here, I had to wait for you to come. Are you kidding me? Like, I was pissed. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was pissed off. I was like, she just hold me. I'm not going to lie. Like, she just played my face for real. Like, what is going on, shorty? Like, so I never went back to that girl. And I could tell, like, you know, she probably don't get that many clients because she's always doing sales. And I'm in this business, too. And when you're doing sales, and they don't even really be, like, holiday sales. They be, like, sales sales. Like, after I did, and then she told me, look, sorry, this is a little all over the place. I'm remembering details that I spoke to you about it. This happened, like, a month or two ago, a month and a half ago. So then she told me, like, oh, I'm sorry for being late. I'll give you some money off of your appointment. She never gave me any money off. I still had to pay full price for that joint. I was finished. She was like, yep, and you just owe me 80 because her deposit was 20 I was like, okay. And I paid her. Like, I wasn't stressing that joint because I already bought the original amount because I didn't expect her to be late. But it's just like, if you're telling me I'm going to have a discount and you're not really going to give me a discount, don't say that. Because now you just sound like dumb and you capping for real. Let's really talk about it. But I was just like, okay, whatever. And I paid her and went about my way. I didn't tip her nothing. Sometimes I do tip people. I'm not going to lie. Like, I will tip you. If I'm like, if I like it and you did a really good job and you really helped your girl out, I'll tip you. I did not tip her. I was like, mm -mm. here, you got your money. And I dip. Because it's like, me and you had a set time. Bro, I told you I was coming from the Poconos. You could have texted me at 11 o'clock this morning and said, yo, I'm not going to lie, I double booked. Um, can you come a little later? I would have planned my day around that. The lashes was first. Then it was going to get my cookies because the cookies was down the block. And then it was going to get my food because that was on a whole nother part of Philly. That was on Southwest Philly and I was in North Philly. So I'm like, yo, girl, be for real. Be for real. Why would you do that? Why you ain't tell me? Like, if she would have told me straight up, like, I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm not going to um, be there at 3.30. I put somebody else in. Maybe I would have canceled. But still, I would have known, like, I just drove all this way to support you. And I was hoping that you would be a good lash tag. Because I would keep going to you. It's no problem. I'm looking for somebody who's going to do what I want and let me look cute. And, you know... 
I'll keep going to you. I'll keep supporting you. But you did not reach my level. You did not make me feel like I should come back to you. The customer service was just like all over the place. And then her roommates saw me outside and they was like, oh my gosh, are you here for lash appointment? I'm like, yeah. And then they were like, oh my gosh, well, she's not here. Let me call her. And that's another way I figured out that she wasn't there. Like she told me, but her roommates was told me first. That's really what happened. It was like, she's not here. I was like, she's not here with the freak. So then I texted her. I'm like, hey, like, and then she got, oh yeah, I'm not there. I, I had a house call. Da, da, da. I'm, in, I'm thinking she just setting up for me. So maybe it's going to take a couple minutes. No, shorty is a liar. And I'm not dealing with it. Like she lied. And I'm like, what are you lying for? Like, if you don't, if you're not there, you ain't got to really lie for real. Like, I'm sorry this story's all over the place, y'all, but I'm not feeling too hot today. But I still want to give you guys a story time. So my story time is a bit all over the place. But it's like, come on. Like, you, I'm not somebody you had to lie to. Like, that means you just lie to all your clients. That's really what you do. I don't know you from a can of paint, and you just lie. Like, if you fit somebody in for a full set, say that drink. And then, like, the way she did my life, she didn't even clean them before she started or nothing. Like, she did not clean my lashes. She just put the lashes on. And then it's like after she finished my lashes, my eyes itch so freaking bad, bro. So bad. My eyes was itching the whole time until that very lash, last lash came off. So I'm like, clearly you don't practice like safety and good health guidelines. Like my eyes are itching horribly. Like this isn't given like and I went home and I looked at the bottom lashes you're not even supposed to put like the lash extensions on my skin I don't have much bottom lashes look it don't look like I have any on this camera because I don't have much I have probably about a good 10 on my bottom or 20 joints and they're not long and they're not thick they like one strand of hair and why is my bottom lashes so thick I don't want thick bottom lashes like that. And then it was long. And I'm like, she glued that joint on my skin. And then when she did the top lashes, you know, I didn't mind the top lashes. They didn't look bad. But it's like she glued them on top of each other after a while to make it look thick. And I'm like, mamas, you didn't have to do all that with me. Let's be real. Let's be sober. Why are you doing it? And that's why it itched so bad. And it was all falling off. About the next week, I had about good 20 lashes off my eyes. It was all falling off. By the third week, all my lashes was gone. They was all falling off. I'm not going to lie. Like, and, you know, I got my lashes done previously by another lash tag. And her retention was pretty good. Like, I had them lashes on, I'm not going to lie, for over a month. I'm still waiting on my last little lash to fall off. And I, I had to pull that joint off because it didn't want to come off. But, yeah, like, her retention wasn't good. Her customer service wasn't good. Like... And it's just like, she don't know what good lash health is. And I'm like, okay, maybe you didn't learn that joint. But, like, you working on people's eyes. I think you should learn that. Like, especially when I come to hair, because I do hair. So, I want to make sure I'm practicing, like, safe things with you. So, like, I always make sure I put my tools in by side. I always make sure I clean my tools. I always make sure that I got everything good and ready for y'all i don't use the same comb that i use in somebody else's head and yours without even like putting my joint in barbicide and washing it like i don't do that um i wipe off all my clips with a hospital grade disinfectant everything like you have to be careful you're messing with somebody's eyes like she's on the eyes i'm in the scalp but she's on the eyes like you can go blind if somebody doesn't practice good like eyelash um safety and requirements so, yeah, I was just like, oh, no, nah, she's not giving. And then she didn't finish my lashes till by, like, 6, 30, 7 o'clock. So, I had to order my, my food because the Jamaican spot was going to close soon, right? And um, so, I was driving to so many cookies. There was no parking over there, which is why I wanted to go during the day. Because if it's during the day, I could have parked real quick, do, 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 find a little parking spot. I can't find a parking spot right now. It's nighttime and everybody is, you know, they out. And they on the strip or they at home. So, there's no parking right now. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I just went to the Jamaican spot. And don't get me started on that Jamaican spot. I'm not even going to give y'all story time on that Jamaican spot. 
they almost pissed me off and I tried my hardest to be a good, 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 good God-fearing woman and give them a good God-fearing attitude. All I do is really stand in the corner quietly and wait for my food. But they try to, they try to tell me the food that I ordered wasn't there after I was waiting for an hour. I'm like, first of all, I called you before I even got here. And I got here 30 minutes after my call. And then I had to wait here for an hour for my food. And you tried to tell me that my food got ran out of my food. Oh, they was about to hit my mouth. But God is good. And they was like, you know what? No, you called. You got priority over the person who came in and ordered. I was like, exactly. Thank you. Took my food, paid for it, and left. Like, it was just, it's like these businesses in Philly, customer service, trash, doodle, dookie. Like, what's going on? And then it's like, soon I got out of my car to go to the Jamaica spot, a crackhead greeted me. I'm like, what is going on? Ah, and then it was nighttime. And then, bro, when I was trying to perk at first, the bus, the bus driver was being a jerk. And I'm like, you know what? You want to be a jerk? So I, I already get anxiety driving. So I'm sitting here trying to park my car. And he's like, beep, 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 laying on his horn. First of all, I looked in my mirror. There was no bus behind me. So he just pulled up. You can't wait. Yes, he could wait. He could have waited, but he didn't want to wait at all. He did not want to wait. He was being a jerk. And I said, you know what? You don't even know that I'm a woman of God. I'm going to let God handle you. I didn't argue with him. I could have opened my window and threw something at his window and cracked it open. But I didn't do that. I said, Jesus, help me. You know? Because God's still working on my attitude. So I'm still getting it together. Sometimes I'll be ready to, ooh. Like, so that was my experience with that lash tech. And then that Jamaica spot. And then that bus driver. I was just like, I'm not coming back over here. It's too ghetto for me. Like, New York ain't even that bad. Like, they customer service in New York is, you know, we got to have a good customer service. Like, if you don't have good customer service, they're going to violate you on the gram and Facebook. And nobody's going to book with you. Like, but I didn't say nothing about that girl because, like, I don't want to, like, diminish nobody's business. I'm not going to tell you guys who she, like, what her business name was. That's why I didn't put it in the vlog or Instagram or anything. I don't want to diminish nobody's business. I don't want to, like make nobody business have a bad name or nothing because i do understand that you know you could still be learning to go um farther and in the future you may be a better business person so i don't want to diminish nobody but yeah that's what happened like and i would never go back to the girl never go back to that girl my lashes itch way too much like they was itching horribly i would never go back to that girl at all never but yeah, that's Vlogmas Day 1. That was a story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye.